Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be building a very high energy nuclear reactor using Red Power 2 Retriever with water buckets. So you will need Blutricity energy available. Simply build out your path for your Blutricity cable here and then one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four again. Dig out one more here. You're going to need a filter here with a full water bucket, a deployer in front of that with an empty water bucket, your retriever will go here with an empty water bucket, connect your Blutricity energy and that'll start powering up, your tubes go here, here and here, and your water will go here and here. After you've got that set up you are going to need red wire to power your machines and a timer to get those going. You can set your timer to as I find that it works at 0 .550 seconds however I believe that we can lower it a little bit more past that. Your reactor will go right here and to prevent your red wire from powering the reactor on and off you will need to place a cobblestone cover between the red wire and the reactor. That'll go right there. And that will prevent any problems caused by that. And then all you have to do is load up your water buckets. You want to have several water buckets and then load up your reactor. As you load up uranium, simply remove any extra water buckets and place them back into the system through the deployer. Okay, and the more buckets you have, the better this will work. So let's see, it actually looks like we're getting a, a good equilibrium right now. We may be able to lower this a little. Not sure that's working, so let's go to. There we go. Very nice. So that is the constantly applied single use coolant reactor. This reactor will run at 490 energy units per tick and it will run very hot. Now I'm not 100% certain that this will go through an entire cycle without exploding, so the first time you build it, you may want to hang out near it and just make sure that <laughs> that you don't run into any problems. If it starts getting too hot, what you can do is you can just place a lever right here in this tile and let's get a lever and I can show you. Just place your lever right here and if you start taking damage from heat, just flip that lever, turns the reactor off, and then turn the lever back on. And I have stood next to this for a pretty decent amount of time and haven't had any problems, but I have not let it run through an entire cycle. So beware. That's the video. If you liked it, please click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.